Right, St. Louis has actually instilled a large gathering ban, so any event with more than a thousand people expected to attend is going to be canceled. Those changes actually start right now, so you'll see them this weekend. St. Louis Saint Symphony will will not be playing at Powell Hall. Stiefel Theater is postponing shows. Fox Theater is also postponing tours and shows all through the end of the month. Chaffetz Arena is postponing their events through the end of April. Live Nation has canceled concerts at arenas all around the country, including the Enterprise Center. Now, this ban doesn't apply to schools or religious gatherings in St. Louis, although we are seeing plenty of those close on their own. In fact, most large gatherings in the area, like the St. Patrick's Day events we've all been looking forward to all year, have already been postponed. However, Mayor Leiter Krusen says that doesn't make this large gathering ban any easier. This is a uh a pretty devastating situation for many of our businesses and for many of our workers. Um, when you have large events that are canceled, we did not make that decision lightly, I will tell you. It was a very tough decision to make because we know the impact that it has. Now you can also say goodbye to other types of entertainment not necessarily included in this ban as some movies you may have wanted to see in theaters like Mulan have already postponed their premiere dates. Now I want to bring it back here to downtown. If you are taking a stroll down here, you might see some hand washing stations. Those have been installed by the city. You are encouraged to use them and use them often. All right, I'll send it back to you in studio. Okay, Savannah, thank you. Now major universities are also moving in person classes to online. So that includes SLU, Maryville and Mizzou. Others are just extending their spring breaks. You can find a list of all the schools impacted by these changes on our website, ksdk.com.